what's up guys it's Moto Flight Guy here and if you're new to the channel I do videos and vlogs about aviation and motorcycling and overall just trying to motivate you guys to get out there and do stuff. Today we're headed down to the 100 Acre Wood Rally in rural Missouri. We were supposed to be on bikes but mother nature uh, unfortunately didn't cooperate but we did not back out of this trip. We took a car anyways and it was sick. So this vlog kind of shows you guys what it's like to go follow a stage rally around and watch cars fly sideways through the woods. So stay tuned. Normally we take the bikes on these trips, but this time we're taking the car. So I think J-Mac brought a little extra stuff this time. <laughs> well, we're on the way to the park expose a little bit late. I don't know. I think it'll still be going on when we get there. Oh, yeah. We'll have a half an hour, an hour to check it all the way. So we're, we're, uh, we're headed there. Hopefully all the, the top drivers are still there when we get there. And yeah, so that's what's up. Well, we finally made it to the expose and I think there's a lot more people here this year because we couldn't find anywhere to park. We're currently trying to walk around and make it to the expose, but I just can't walk. Yeah, so if you're new to rally, um, the reason why the rally cars are driving on the roads is because they actually have to be street legal and in order to get to the rally stages they actually drive on the public roads like everybody else so it's kind of kind of crazy if you've never been before uh, and you're hanging out around the area you kind of just see these race cars driving all over the place but uh, they're still still pouring into the expose so uh, we're going to go down there and check out the cars. Finally made it in here to the expose. It's checking out all the cars in. This is way, way, way bigger than the last time we were here, that's for sure. I think they got like 80 cars signed up for entry, so it should be pretty sick. So we just got done with the park expose, checked out all the cars and stuff, and man, it's crazy how, how many more cars are here this year. I know this is a record turnout for this rally, but there is a lot of cars entered. Uh, a lot of sick cars, and we're just leaving right now. We're gonna head and go get something to eat and then go to the first stage, so. First obstacle of the day. Just trying to take thing. a shortcut. Nothing to see here. <laughs> this is what happens when the parking lot's brim full. <laughs> First time I've had Hardy since I was eight years old. And it's just like I remember it. Alright, got something to eat. Just got to the first stage we're gonna watch. 
trying to walk up to the spectator spot. We're not even sure how far away we are, but there's a lot of walking and driving in between the stages. Just finished up stage eight, walking back to the car. It's getting pretty cold outside, so we're calling it a day. Gonna go find a place to eat and hit it early in the morning. We just got done packing up camp Saturday morning, headed to the cattle crossing, cattle jump and it's freezing cold. <sighs> oh well. I don't know if you guys can see the frost on everything, but it was like 25 degrees last night when we were camping. No big deal. We're headed to go set up the first stage where we're gonna be at the cattle crossing jump. All right, we made it to the cattle crossing jump. And weather warmed up a little bit, sun shining, so the we got secret, some... The secret continues to grow. <laughs> the legend of the jazz. We, uh, we got some good seats, so we're just waiting on the stage to start. <laughs> just got done watching the cattle guard jump it was sick a lot of people hitting it pretty pretty hard this year hopefully i got some good shots of that and now we're gonna go into salem get something to eat hit one more stage and then we'll be done been pretty sweet this year although I think they lost a lot of cars yesterday 20 what was it 21 cars 21 cars out today so that kind of sucks but overall the weather's been pretty decent other than last night it was like 25 degrees but <laughs> that's rally for you all right let's go for it <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys. No problem bro. <laughs> we just had to get pushed out because J Mac buried his GTI out here in a cow patty. <laughs> <laughs> We got something to eat. Just mm. got to stage 15 and we're walking, I don't know, forever from where we parked 
and J Max over here school me on Subarus on the way up here. Because <laughs> he knows everything about every STI <laughs> from 10 miles away. So, right, first car is about to go. Stage 15. Okay, so we just got done with the, watching our last stage, and it was sick. I'm sure you guys, as you guys saw, there were some fast passes, and Solberg is a maniac. <laughs> Can't believe that kid, is he 16 or 17? I don't know. I, I thought he was 16, it doesn't even matter, but. The fact of the matter is he doesn't even have a United States driver's license. Yeah, doesn't even, <laughs> doesn't even have a, his uh, co-driver had to transit the car to each stage for him, but. It was sick, absolutely awesome, and way better than the first year we came. So if you haven't been to 100 Acre Woods, definitely come check it out. And if you guys like this video, you know the drill, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on the next one. See ya.